In this video, we will learn how you can automatically upload new Google Drive files to Cloudinary. So let's say you run a business and you use Cloudinary for image and video management purpose. And now you want every time you add a file in specific folder in Google Drive, the same file should be uploaded here in Cloudinary so that you can have a backup. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pavily Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically upload Google Drive files to Cloudinary, let us first go to Pavily's website. You can see the landing page of Pavily. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in, Pavily Connect. On top right, you will see a Create Workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Google Drive to Cloudinary. Create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a purchase is made, an action can be send a confirmation message to the user. In our case, a trigger can be when a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, the action can the same should automatically be added in Cloudinary. So let us begin and select Google Drive as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new file in specific folder. So it will trigger when a new file is added into a specific folder. Let us connect, add new connection, connect with Google Drive. Now I will select my account here and since I was already logged into my Gmail account, I will not have to give any credentials here. Just give the permission and you will see authorization successful. So now it will show you the various folders that I have created here in Google Drive. Like you can see here, new files, Pinterest, salary slip, etc. Cloudinary, Cloudinary one. So I'll take you to my Google Drive. So you can see these various folders that I've created in my Google Drive. Cloudinary one, Cloudinary new files issue. So these are the folders here. So now I want every time I upload a file in this folder, in Cloudinary one folder on Google Drive. So the same file should be added in Cloudinary application. All right. So but before we do this, we have to make sure that our folder is shareable. I've already made my for, uh, this folder Cloudinary one folder shareable. For that, you will have to just go to right click, click on share button here. And in the drop down, you will have to select anyone with the link as I have selected. All right. So this is already I've already made this shareable. So now I want if I click here, you will see this I've uploaded this file here. So I want this file to be uploaded in the Cloudinary, all right, Cloudinary application. So for that, from the drop down, I'm going to select the folder here, Cloudinary one. Just click on save and send test request. And you will see we have received the response. You will see the content link here. That is the link of the PDF there of this PDF here. And if you will scroll down, you will further find other details. That is the title resort.pdf. Like you can see the title over here. If you will further scroll down, you will see other details as well here, the email address here and so on. You can also see the original file name that was resort.pdf and other details. So this means we have successfully integrated our Google Drive with Pabbly. Now on to our action step. Here we are going to select Cloudinary for the action event. We'll take upload resource, uploads a new asset or resource, connect, add a new connection. And now it will need these details, cloud name, API key, API secret. So for these, let us first read our help text below. 
So log in to your Cloudinary account. We are already logged in. Get the cloud name API key and API secret from the console management. All right. So I've logged into my Cloudinary account. Like you can see here, this is my dashboard. And right on the dashboard in the front, you will get all the three things. That is the cloud name, the API key and API secret. So let us just copy our cloud name, come back to Pavli and paste it. Now it needs an API key. Again, we'll go to our Cloudinary dashboard and right next to cloud name, you will see API key. We're going to copy this, come back to Pavli and paste it. Now it needs an API secret. Again, we will go to our Cloudinary dashboard and here you will see API secret. We'll just view it, copy it, come back to Pabli and paste it. Now let us just save and you will see it's connected. Now we need file URL here. It has to be in this format like you can see here. Okay, so for that we will map it from Google Drive like you can see. But before we map and file URL from here, you must be thinking where exactly are we getting these Google Drive details here from. So for that, I will take you to my step one where we integrated Google Drive with Pabli. And Pabli captured the file response, that is this response, the details of the file that was added here in Cloudinary one folder in Google Drive. You can see these details here. So Pabli has brought exactly same details here in the next step. And that's how we are going to map it. So let us click on cloud Google Drive and the second option you will see web content link. So that is going to be our file URL. Let us map it. Now for the resource type, we will select a resource type to upload. Okay, you can select auto to automatically detect the file type. All right. So here there are separate as well image video auto row, but we will go with auto as it says so you can select auto to automatically detect the file type. The auto will help you automatically detect the file type. All right. Now it needs an unsigned upload preset. Okay. So pay a little attention as we go through this. Okay. Let us read the help text first. The name of an unsigned upload preset that you defined for unsigned uploading to your Cloudinary account. So we will have to follow this path settings upload and then upload presets okay so this is my dashboard for cloudinary on the top right corner you will see settings let's click there here in the top right next to account you will see upload let us click there and if you will scroll down you will see upload presets like you can see here it's written here after setting upload we have to go on upload preset and like you can also see here we need name of an unsigned upload preset all right so let us come back to cloudinary and you can see this unsigned preset over here this is the one if you click this this is the upload preset name just copy the name come back to pabli and paste it here and now it needs file name here like you can see so Help text says enter a URL save SEO friendly string that is used to reference the uploaded resource example file name. So basically we have to give a file name here again we are going to map it from Google Drive. Let us search using file name and you will find the file name here resort.pdf and since it says like you we have already selected the resource type as auto so it will automatically detect the file type so we will not need any pdf dot pdf here so what we are going to do is we are going to remove this from here scroll up up add an action step in between and select text formatter all right now for the action event we are going to select split text okay connect now it needs text to split. So for that, we are going to map it from Google Drive again. I'm going to just search using file name and you will get resort.pdf. So we just need resort and we don't need this extension here. So I'm going to use dot as a separator since I want to split resort and PDF right from here dot. So I have used dot as a separator here. 
Now for the segment in index, I'm going to select first since I just need the first part that is resort. So now let us click on save and send test request. And you will see we have received the response. You can see we just wanted this name. We have removed, removed this dot PDF from here. We got this resort here. All right. So this is the one that we are going to use in our cloudinary step. Now let us quickly reconnect. Why we will reconnect? Because we added a step in between. And so to get the results of this, of this text formatter step as well, we are going to reconnect cloudinary. So this time we are going to go with existing connection as previously we added a new connection already. So let us save and you will see it's connected. These details we had already mapped in, given here. And now for the file name, we will take it from text formatter. You remember we split it this. So we are going to use this resort as our file name. All right. And tag, since this is not a mandatory field, I'm going to leave it blank. And now we look, it looks all set to go. So before I click on save and send test request, I just want to tell you one more thing. These fields that we have mapped in, like you can see the file name here and the file URL here. So these mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated. So what will happen is the next time any file is uploaded here in Cloudinary one folder in Google Drive here, response is captured. So here in Cloudinary, these mapped in fields like file URL and file name, these mapped in fields will automatically pick the new data and you will not have to do it manually. All right. Now, before I click on save and send test request, let me quickly take you to my Cloudinary media library. This is the one. The most of the files are getting uploaded here in samples folder and that is by default. So I will click here. And you will see these fold these files are already here a few files like travel brochure sale agreement and all these so now you can see there is nothing like resort here all right now let us go to Pabli connect and click save and send test request and you will see we have received the response here like you can see all the details here the format is PDF and if you will further scroll down, you will also see the folder name here in which the file has been uploaded. You can see the samples folder like I told you. The files are getting saved here by default. All right. Now let me quickly now take you to my media library in Cloudinary and let's see if any file with resort name has been uploaded there. And this is the samples folder like it said. And now I'm going to quickly refresh this. And here you will see this resort file name, this resort PDF has been uploaded here. Like you can see here, this is the one. So this means we have successfully integrated our Cloudinary and our Google Drive using Pabli Connect. Not only this, guys, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with the help of Pabli Connect. For any queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com. Our team will definitely answer your queries. You can also visit our website on www.pabli.com slash connect. For latest updates, you can also join our Facebook group. Share this video with your friends and help them automate their businesses.